Alright, this is a recovery charging cylinder. These are not used too much anymore. They were used primarily before the days of the digital scales. So nowadays everything is pretty much electronic, with digital scales. But prior to the expensive technology back in the late 80s and early 90s, we used to have this charging scale, which is actually one of the test questions on the EPA test. Okay? So the charging scale's got some, uh, uh, the dial of charge has got it broken down into three different refrigerants. The first refrigerant off here to the left is going to be refrigerant 12. So that means all this right in here is for refrigerant 12. And then the scale that's right in here is for refrigerant 502. And then the one that we're going to be using is the R22 scale. So it's got a little port on the back, a hose, for me to connect up my tank to. Sometimes they put a tank upside down in the back and you can hold it. So we'll connect up this hose and I will purge out the gas purge out the air out of the back of the hose so we don't mix in air with it. She is tight. Pause that. Okay. All right, ready? All right, so we're going to go ahead and purge this hose here real quick. So I'll take the pliers and we'll loosen it up because it's been a little while. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. That gets the air out. And then we're going to add a liquid into it. So we'll put this upside down for liquid. So now the tank's going to stay back there. And again, I can purge it up here. So we'll purge, and you can see that how much refrigerant took one Mississippi about a second before the liquid starts coming out. So now we're ready to inject liquid into our charging cylinder here. But we have to match the pressure with what the pressure reading on our gauge up here is going to be. And it's going to equalize the pressure in this cylinder to the pressure in the tank and we're going to have to offset that because it might not get up to the level of refrigerant whether it's three ounces, four ounces, five ounces of refrigerant that we might need for charging. So in order to get more liquid in we have to open up the vent here on the top so that the refrigerant vapor will escape from the top and the liquid can fill from the bottom and it just works its way up. But now with the EPA law we cannot vent off the refrigerant to the atmosphere anymore because venting refrigerant is illegal. So we'll have to connect this part of the vent up to a recovery machine or to an empty vacuum tank that could be serving as a passive or system dependent recovery device. So we'll just take this and we'll hook the vent, the center hose up to the vent. And there is a set of gauges on this charging scale but they're kind of old. And then we'll hook the yellow hose, the suction. All right. Our blue hose will get connected to the suction side of the recovery machine. And we're going to recover vapor. So I'll set the dial to vapor. And then I'll need one extra hose, which I could use this red hose here, to go from my discharge port to my tank. So all this is just to, again, recover the refrigerant that we used to just vent off the top. And then to make sure I know that there's only about four pounds of refrigerant in here and I'm not going to put that much in, but we could also set it up on the scale. Start off with the zero scale, so that's zero. And then from the previous video, you see how we find out how much refrigerant's in there. So we've got 32, well, almost 33 pound, pounds with the tank weight. Tank weight's 28, so we got about four pounds. So we go ahead and I'm gonna leave that valve closed. This is on vapor, and then we can go ahead and get our extension cord and plug in the recovery machine for when we're ready to start adding our refrigerant. So now we'll go ahead and we'll start putting some refrigerant into the charging scale. And then this other cord is for the vacuum pump. And if you take a look at the vacuum pump that came with it, it's the whole thing's the charging station. And uh, it comes with a heater so that we can heat up the refrigerant in here. That'll, that'll make the refrigerant flow out and increase the pressure into the system a little bit. Uh, we also can hook this up for vacuum 
And the vacuum, if you take a look, they're using a half inch vacuum line here on that. That's really nice. You want the vacuum uh, line to be as large in, in diameter and as short in length as possible uh, to speed up recovery. So that, that's nice to have on that one there for that vacuum pump. But we're going to go ahead and we'll just add a little bit of liquid. I'll open the valve and you'll see the liquid go up. All right, so we're going to get, and it takes a second, but you'll start to see a little bit of liquid flow into the pipe. And there she goes. She's starting to rise up here a little bit. And we're looking at about 100 PSI right now, so I'm going to set this gauge down to R22, and we'll set it down to the lowest setting of 100 PSI. So we got about eight ounces of liquid refrigerant in there now and eventually like I said it's going to equalize and to get more refrigerant to enter through the bottom of the charging scale I'll have to open up this valve up here alright so there she's equalized and let's say we still needed uh, another pound of liquid refrigerant in there so right now we're at about one pound and we need to raise it to another another pound now that the tanks equalized either I can warm the tank with hot water or I can just open up the valve here and then we have to purge everything because we have air in this hose. So I'm going to purge out of this hose. Go ahead and get up and stand back. And then, so I'm going to purge one Mississippi, two Mississippi, and that'll let some of the air out. And then we still have air all the way through the machine. So to get some of the air through up into here, I'll just go ahead, two seconds for every hose. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi. So now we've purged all the air, and now we're ready to add more refrigerant by venting it up here. And you can see as I've been letting it vent, she's been going up. So we continue to vent it off, and then to speed it up, we'll have to probably turn on the recovery machine to let it suck some of the refrigerant out. So we'll go ahead and turn on the recovery machine here, and that will pull some of the vapor, and then I'll go ahead and I'll let it suck off the top and it'll pull it up a lot faster so we can see that we can get the virgin refrigerant you see what's happening there and that's how we size it up so eventually let's say we just went ahead and needed about uh, one and a half pounds that would be it one and a half pounds pressures a hundred match the hundred here on the dial of charge with the refrigerant type that you're using and that tells you the amount so now I would take this and I would hook it up to the system and if the compressor's running, first I would just let the pressure equalize to whatever the system pressure is and then turn on the compressor to suck out the refrigerant the rest of the way. That's the charging scale.